Hey kids, how are ya? Uh, we're going to channel Justin Bieber. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know who Justin Bieber is, the most important thing that you need to know is that he has been a victim of Sean Diddy Combs for his entire career. He was only 13 years old when he was signed by Scooter Braun, and then Scooter Braun turned him over to Usher. Usher was also a victim of Sean Diddy Combs. Usher then turns Justin Bieber over to, guess who? Sean Diddy Combs. Justin Bieber has been abused in some form or fashion his entire career by Sean Combs. He's a Pisces, born in 1994, and was, is, and continues to be outrageously popular in the pop music culture. All right. This is so freaking beautiful, I can hardly stand myself right now. This is so beautiful. All right, Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber, all right? Justin Bieber, okay. The Nine of Pentacles, first card out, sets the tone for everything, okay? This is about independent, self-sufficient, standing in your power, and bringing everything to a resounding culmination in your life, okay? The Six of Cups. This is family, home, nostalgia, memories. Um, this is the new baby that he just had. This is how he feels about his life right now. His small little cocoon, whatever he's got going on with, whoever he's got going it on with. I know they had a baby. I don't remember who she is. I do know that he is very intent to bring a long-standing chapter of his life to an absolute close an absolute close, and he is actually relieved that all of this has happened and all of this has come out. It's almost like a weight off of his shoulders, okay? So he's bringing it all to a culmination, standing in his power. He's owning himself. He's owning his past. He's owning everything that he has experienced, and he is putting all of it into this chariot right here, and he is going to roll off into the whole rest of his life a happy man, okay? Knight of Pentacles. Steady, stable. He's worked really hard for this. I think this is a person who has done some therapy, gotten some counseling, had a spiritual awakening of some sort, but he is ready to step into his future and, and completely and totally walk away from his past. Okay? The King of Pentacles, right? This is him being self-assured, in charge, um, very, very stable, probably very well to do, not really having to work to work much for anything anymore. What he says with this King of Pentacles is, I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. I have everything that I need, and I'm ready to sail into my future. Ten of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse is a renewal of a mindset. This this is this is what makes me think that he has had therapy and stuff, right? Or at least somehow has come to terms with what we all know, whether we see it or not on the media, went on with Diddy and Justin Bieber. Okay? Fucked up, but yeah, all right. So the Ten of Swords in reverse is a new perspective. It's a renewal of a mindset that is rooted in betrayal, deception, and pain, okay? So a renewal of a mindset, okay? He's healing the pain that he carries in his mind about his life up to this point. And then the lovers comes on top of it. The lovers is, is high frequency, high vibing, peace, healing. He has, he has healed. This is a man who has put in some effort to heal, um, and he wants to ride off into the sunset with his little family and be happy forever and always. Amen. That's what this man wants. Okay. The emperor in reverse right here. Um, this, this is uh, Sean Combs, okay? This is egocentric, self-centered, out of control, maniacville kind of energy, okay? The emperor in reverse always has no one's best interest at heart but his own. The emperor in reverse is completely out of control of himself, all right? 
think of the exact opposite of an emperor who is, you know, wanting to look after and and take care of his 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 kingdom, right? The emperor in reverse is the complete opposite of that, all right? Six of cups in reverse. This is about unresolved emotional issues from the past, okay? So, Diddy unresolved emotional issues from the past. Look, the seven of wands that Justin just simply has fought off all of these years, all of these years. He has just held that stick up and has just, just backed up. And, and it, it's almost like, it's almost like a snake's pit, right? 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 If it, you don't want to make any sudden moves, right? Because if they're coming at you, you just want to like keep them back. You don't necessarily want to turn and run because if you do, they're going to follow you. So it's, it's almost like his entire life up to this point has been holding off, holding off maybe Diddy himself, holding off whatever, right? What, whatever he has been defending himself against the emperor in reverse, okay? And that is the, he defending himself against whatever the shit went on in the past. This person doesn't want the shit that went on in the past to stop somehow. He wants inclusion, and Justin has just been keeping him back, keeping him back, keeping him back, okay? Ten of Wands in reverse. It has been an incredibly, incredibly heavy burden for him incredibly heavy burden. You can see it on his face, right? And then the sun. Now that everybody sees, Justin can finally step into a place of peace. Now that everybody knows, he can step into a place of peace. The sun has illuminated the deception in the background, and now he is free. Wow. Makes me want to cry almost. King of Swords in reverse. That goes right with that Emperor in reverse. King of Swords in reverse tells me that perhaps Diddy is uh, pissed that Justin won't communicate with him in jail, maybe. Maybe. Um, it tells me that Diddy is mentally abusive, verbally abusive, lies, cheats, steals. It's followed by justice in reverse down here, which is injustice, right? So this person uses their power. This the, the root of this card is a misuse of power, right? We spin out in a bazillion different ways, lying, cheating, stealing, okay? And manipulation, all that kind of stuff, abuse, right? It is a misuse of power. And what he is saying here is that this person's misuse of power has now come to an end, okay? Two of Swords. Um, Justin at the crossroads, okay? I do believe that people, whatever's going on behind the scenes, are trying to get to Justin about this situation. And Justin's just clamped down. He's like, no, no. Uh, let the cards fall where they may. I'm off the hook. I am free now. I can go do whatever it is that I need to do with myself. And I don't have to worry about this insanity constantly throbbing in the background of my mind all the time. Two of swords. He said a crossroads. But what this crossroads is, is shut down, right? He's like, absolutely not. He's not so much wondering which way he should go in this card. What he's doing is, is a shutdown of the mind, okay? To the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is about contemplation and reevaluation. He is thinking about how he's going to proceed in this whole thing. To the Moon in reverse, because he will be implicated in some of those videos. I, I know he will. I, I know he will. I know he will, but he was a minor, obviously. And he didn't choose that. He didn't choose that at all. Okay? It chose him. He didn't choose that. Right, making a plan, contemplating, reevaluating, and the moon in reverse. Moon in reverse is about seeing clearly. Right, the moon card is when things are all foggy. Things are all foggy, and you can't quite see. It's that full moon, right, shining down, creating shadows where there weren't shadows before, and you just can't 
quite get your bearings. The moon in reverse is about the veil being lifted and, and, and sunlight, right? Um, so what he's saying here is that um, everything is exposed now. Everything is exposed to the two of pentacles. And he is going to balance himself off of that. He's not saying anything. He's not going to engage with anyone. He's giving no interviews. I don't even think he's going to pick up the phone for Diddy. None of it. Him and his little family are going to cruise off and go be happy for the first time in his whole freaking life. Okay? Justice in reverse right here. What's that about? Can you all see that okay? What is justice in reverse about? Well, obviously, the injustice. The injustice of what? The Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, stealing, right? Stealing people's lives from them so they can have power. I just, I don't understand that. Stealing people's lives so they can have power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look, Three of Wands. Now he can have some foresight, though. Now he can plan for his future. Now that all of this is exposed, his participation in it is exposed, all of it's being exposed, and Bieber's just like looking at it through the rearview mirror. Looking at it through the rearview mirror. He's, he's like, uh-huh, I knew it. Boom, bomb. It all happens. It all comes out, and Justin is just like, oh, my God, thank God. And he goes. The King of Cups. This is the healed Justin, right? Told you all up here at the beginning of the reading. He's healed. Nobody's ever 100% healed, okay? But he has come to a healing point in his life where he is okay with the way that things went down, why things went down the way that he went down. He understands completely and fully that he was victimized and it had nothing to do with him personally. Okay, he does understand that, and that's part of what has helped him to come to terms with what has happened to him. To the fool, he's ready to go, man. New beginning, new journey, freedom, independence, going in a different direction. He's he is. I wonder if we'll ever even see anything from or about Justin Bieber ever again because this dude is like drop dead serious about dipping out and and being free for the first time in his life. And if he was running scared, just for you skeptics out there, if he was running scared, there would be a completely different set of cards and I would have a completely different energetic feeling going on right here, okay? He's not running scared. He's running free, okay? So, the King of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. This is emotional volatility. Um, it's emotional manipulation, emotional volatility. Sometimes it's emotional codependency, all right? And then the King of Wands in reverse. Egocentric, self-centered, a lack of success, a lack of success, to the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. There's two things in this King of Cups in reverse right here. Okay. There's two different stories, so to speak. First of all, this King of Cups in reverse is the emotional damage that was done to Justin through his whole career. Okay. This emotional damage that was done to Justin through his career, King of Wands in reverse, makes him have a lack of success to the Queen of Pentacles with his wife, okay? Um, I'm sure that their relationship has its ups and downs, um, especially if she is with Justin while he is going through the healing process, okay? Um, I know they've been together for a minute, right? Judgment in reverse. His deep, deep, deep self-doubt about what he thought he was allowing to happen, but as he healed, realized wasn't it didn't really have anything to do with him as much as it had to do with everybody else. Okay, that kind of thing right there causes relationship issues for Justin with his wife. Okay, all right, the world in reverse. Um, 
the world in reverse is a pattern, okay? A, a pattern, a, a pattern of either emotional codependency or emotional volatility of some way, okay? In his relationships with women, but particularly with his wife right now, okay? All right. Temperance. Temperance is about regrouping. It's about taking a big sigh of relief, tempering yourself to the wheel of fortune because this whole expose situation has created a massive turning point in his life to the ace of pentacles or he how about this he has hit a turning point in his life with his healing either way both ways to the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles says it's a new day it's a new day it's a new start look the sun happiness success vitality new day new start new beginning new journey the king of cups right the three of wands with foresight getting ready to to think about the next phase of his life the king of cups the fool i mean this is beautiful the other aspect of this right here is kind of sort of the same right because if you got mommy issues then you got wife issues it's just like that it just is until you heal it explore it and find it you just got wife issues if you got mommy issues okay so the king of cups in reverse this is emotional volatility this is him having emotional volatility about about egocentric self-centered mom okay i think on the deep deep down inside justin's final healing stage maybe or what he needs to focus on maybe is his mother's decisions that allowed him to somehow be mixed up in this the kid was a minor he couldn't sign contracts and papers on his own somebody sold him out and i think it was his mom i'm sorry to say but i do judgment in reverse bad decisions right bad decisions to the world in reverse that kept him in this loop in this loop in this loop that he couldn't break out of temperance the healing wheel of fortune a turning point and the ace of pentacles a new opportunity so he has or is dealing with his mommy issues but in the meantime those mommy issues create issues in his relationship okay and it's it's a thing for him and he's working on it he wants nothing more than just to be happy the prince of swords in reverse prince of swords in reverse is no communication the five of wands in reverse avoiding responsibility he's not going to communicate with the media he's not going to communicate with anybody even this emperor in reverse right there he's not going to tell his story he's not going to give interviews he's just not five of cups in reverse all he wants to move all he wants to do is move on from the loss the regret the despair and the disappointment that this whole damn thing has been for his whole life since he was a freaking kid nine of swords in reverse an immense amount an immense amount of mental anxiety painful lessons anxiety like off the hook anxiety and look the three of swords grief and sorrow and pain that he carries in his chest to the two of cups and the queen of cups whoever he is in a relationship with he truly truly loves her he does he loves her he loves her so much the four of pentacles and he just again wants to sail off into the sunset he just wants to be stable he just wants to be secure he just wants to be loved he just wants to raise his kid and be happy and walk away from all of this bullshit. the ace of swords in reverse ace of swords in reverse is the truth not being known hiding the truth hiding the truth the tower not anymore though because all of it's fallen down all of it's fallen down to the page of swords in reverse but he's not going to talk he's not going to talk he's not going to talk to the feds he's not going to he's not going to talk at all about any of it to anybody he's going to clam down 
get clearance from the feds that he can do whatever it is that he needs to do and he's going to dip out he's going to dip out he's going to dip out to the queen of cups this queen of cups wait yes okay to the Queen of Cups, right? Same Queen of Cups right here that is clarifying the soul union, the, the love relationship with that Two of Cups, the woman that he loves. Here she is again, okay? Here she is again. And then the Hermit in reverse. Withdrawal, isolation, the Chariot, just like that one, rolling out, rolling hard, going someplace else, justice. Because it's in his best interest. Justice is happening. He's getting justice from the truth being exposed. He's being released and he's being freed. And he doesn't want to talk to anybody about it. He's going to take his woman. He's going to take his kid. And he's going to go live a happy life. Okay. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Cups. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the King of Pentacles to the wheel of fortune did he be in who did he is okay it has a lot of power and a lot of strings to pull and i think that diddy has something to do with justin bieber's um ability to have success in musical in the music industry okay um, somehow, some way, don't know what the backstory all about that is. And I don't mean back in the day, because I know Bieber and Diddy, you know, did, Diddy did Bieber's thing in the day, right? His music. But now, I'm talking like right now, and Ace of Pentacles in reverse, right? No opportunities, dried up opportunities. Prince of Pentacles in reverse, stuck. Stuck in what? Loss and regret and despair and disappointment. To the Three of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork and collaboration. So what this is saying is he was dependent upon teamwork and collaboration to be able to produce the music that he's produced. So he had to play some kind of a game or some kind of a that Seven of Wands. Remember, just holding him off, holding him off, holding him off kind of thing, right? He had to do that because he was entrenched in the whole thing and his whole everything depended upon it, right? And not that he he found himself in that position, right? After his childhood and all the strings go together and he becomes this big star and Diddy and blah, 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 blah. He wakes up one day and he finds himself in a situation where his whole everything is dependent on Diddy, despite his talent, okay? All right, so, so, yeah. But now, look, King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, just like this King of Pentacles up here, right? Now he's solid. He has everything he needs. He doesn't need any more money. He doesn't need anything else. He doesn't need anything. But when, before this expose happened, he was still bound somehow to this situation maybe he couldn't go away for some reason but now he can it's a turning point the king of pentacles and the wheel of fortune this dude just wants to take care of his woman and his child and go live a good life it's a gigantic huge turning point for him the three of cups in reverse talks about third party interference and the nine of swords right he doesn't have to worry about that anymore he doesn't have to worry about third party interference what would that be the whole diddy thing behind the scenes perhaps he doesn't have to worry that this is all going to get leaked out someday and it's going to ruin his life because he's just relieved that it's all coming out now Right? He may have been freaked out when it all first broke, but he's sigh he is breathing a sigh of relief that this is finally over. The high priestess, his heart of hearts and his soul of souls can finally heal. To the Ten of Cups in reverse, right? Ten of Cups in reverse is, is a lack of emotional satisfaction. He knows with this Ten of Cups in reverse that his sad days are over. Sad days are over to death. An absolute ending, an ending, a change, a massive transformation, massive transformation to the hangman and the six of swords.
okay? The hangman and the six of swords represent an ending, a change, a, ma a massive ending, like d a death ending, like over, right? Hangman, what he's been waiting to happen all of this time, the freedom that he has been lingering and waiting for six of swords can now happen. He can now leave behind the mental baggage that has kept him bound to this situation forever. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Unmet expectations to the devil in reverse. A release of limiting beliefs. Okay? And then the Prince of Cups. So tell me about, please, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This unmet expectation right here. The High Priestess. Beautiful. So this Eight of Pentacles in reverse right here, this is his unmet expectations of what life should be to the ten of cups and now and now it can be it, it can be he finally has peace to the devil in reverse releasing his limiting beliefs what does that have to do with the prince of cups what he has done what he is doing with his healing journey with his this this expose was a huge huge push forward for his healing okay and what he, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts some kind of foundation or something for um, abuse sexually uh, for SA kids. I don't think I can say that on YouTube. For kids who have been um, not treated so good. Okay? All right. So this Prince of Cups is him taking all only what he wants to into his future because now he can finally leave all of this here it's that one cup in the center of his chest and he's got his emotions under control he's grown he's matured he has come to terms with everything come to terms with everything and he is prepared to go forward in his life and he just wants to be left alone the high priestess, right? His heart of hearts, his soul of souls, um, his healing, his healing. Four of cups on the bottom of the deck. This is contemplation and reevaluation to the aid of swords. Uh, this is trying, he's making a plan here in the four of cups because he has been liberated from the fear of some sort that keeps him in the prison of the eight of swords. Okay. Judgment comes on top of it and talks about a conscious cognitive decision once and for all nine of cups to be happy, to be happy. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the judgment call of the legal system has brought relief to Justin Bieber's life. Temperance, right? Again, taking a deep breath, tempering himself, tempering himself, tempering himself. Look, Queen of Swords in reverse. He no longer has to hide the truth. He no longer has to hide the truth to the aid of wands. And he is going forward with big momentum, the King of Wands, and he has his eyes on the rest of his life. He's so happy and he's so excited that he can finally move forward to the Six of Wands. Victory, success. He has overcome this battle. The Ace of Cups, new emotional growth. The Princess of Swords, new seeds of thoughts in his mind to the world in reverse. Finally breaking free from the constant repeated cycle over and over and over again. He has broken free. He is free. And he is eight of wands. I can't make this up, man. Movement, action, change. He is he is dipping out. Dipping the fuck out. Yay, Justin. You go. You go. Look, the seven of wands in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse, right? Um, overwhelmed by an overwhelming burden, the five of swords, some kind of win at all costs, white knuckle grip on a mentality. Queen of cups, but I have healed nine of pentacles and I'm going to stand in my power. I'm going to stand in my power and this whole thing has come to an end. I'm good everywhere that I need to be good and me and my family are going to go live an extremely peaceful, extremely prosperous, extremely private life and be happy about it.
There you go. That was Justin Bieber. I hope you all enjoyed that. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.